Shaquille O'Neal, who played for the Miami Heat and, of course, at the Los Angeles Lakers, played alongside Kobe Bryant, who he has tagged as his younger brother. And when Kobe Bryant was also asked about Shaquille, he said Shaquille O'Neal is his big brother. Well, a big loss to the world of basketball, right? They're talking about the NBA. Not such a good news for the, the basketball fans. And uh, we're still mourning the death of the legend Kobe Bryant. Bryant. Well, I've got Maka Anyama right here on the show this morning, and we'll be talking more about um, the stats between um, Kobe Bryant and, of course, Shaquille O'Neal, and all the news that we have for you in the world of basketball. Welcome to the show, Maka. Good morning. Mm. It's always a pleasure to be here. Always a pleasure. Now, we saw um, Shaquille O'Neal, quite an emotional one, that he, he talked about Kobe Bryant and all that. I mean, it's really tough. Everyone is still being devastated about the death of Kobe. Yeah. Um... If you watch that video, you can't help but come to tears, um, definitely. You can just feel his pain. Mm -hmm. um, you can feel, I was even amazed of how he was able to go through some of the memories and some mm -hmm. of the time that they shared together, together. Um, without completely losing it, even though you can see that, you know, he was hurt, he was mm -hmm. breaking down. And, you know, with Dwayne Wade there as well, you can tell that these guys are really grieving and Kobe meant so much to them, to them and the world and many players in the NBA and WNBA all around the world. A lot of people looked up to him and it's just really sad to see um, Shaq, you know, in that pain. And mm -hmm. I think the reaction he had was the reaction that a lot of us had. No, get that away from me. Exactly. I had the, I actually said the same exact thing to mm -hmm. my friend because my friend just, she didn't say nothing. She just said, look. And I was like, nah, I don't believe that, <laughs> nice you know. You. So I think it's the same disbelief that we all had. And he mentioned some of the speculations that were happening over the hour or two as the news was breaking. And I think that even speaks to us. social media, mm -hmm. um, news reports. I think before we start to make conclusions, let's get the facts, facts exactly. first. Because um, you can see he thought, oh, Rick Fox was Fox. And he just... And, act and in reality, Rick Fox was not on that plane, on trip, yeah. you know? So I think we need to do a little bit better, especially reporting things of this magnitude mm -hmm. and, and putting out false information. Um, I feel so much for Shaq. Um, but I think, and ultimately, there's something to take away from there. Mm -hmm. He spoke about not speaking to Kobe for a while. Wow, and yeah. The last time he spoke, he, um, you know, he was like, you're going to drop 50. He was like, and then he dropped 60, mm -hmm. which was on his final game. And that was in 2016. I think we have to do a little bit better. You mm -hmm. know, um, he spoke about being busy and going through life and procrastinating. procrastinating yeah. When you love someone and you have people in your life that you love, it's OK, even if it's a text or a call. Hey, how are you doing? Um, you always know, just reach out. always reach out. And mm -hmm. I think if there's anything that we can learn from Kobe's passing is the simple fact that let's not let too many days go by mm. until we reach out to our loved ones or check on our loved ones. Um, and it's so important because like like he said and like we know. Tomorrow is not promised. We can True. go, anyone can go in any minute, any second. Mm -hmm. So let's not waste time to show the people that we love, to yeah. say it, to show it, that we love them. Mm, very true. And for um, Shaquille O'Neal, he has said that from now onwards, he will stop procrastinating and he will do um, well to be a better person. Mm 